Based on the recent situation of a crew member on a flight arriving into St. Lucia and testing positive for the monkeypox virus, the epidemiology department within the Ministry of Health has undertaken the required contact tracing process and placed all of the passengers of interest in quarantine. Currently, these individuals are being monitored for a 21-day period with the support of the whole monitoring team of clinicians. To date, the monkeypox virus has not been confirmed in St. Lucia. In an effort to manage the monitoring of individuals in quarantine and provide hospital care, the Victoria Hospital has an assigned and dedicated ward. The monkeypox virus is managed by treating the symptoms. The Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, will be providing support for testing and therefore anyone who exhibits symptoms while in quarantine or isolation, these samples will be taken and shall be sent directly to CAFA for testing. The Ezra Long Lab has received reagents and test kits to facilitate in-country testing for monkeypox. The Pan American Health Organization provided training to the lab staff to build their capacity for testing in-country. So very soon, we will be carrying out our own testing on a national level. The Ministry of Health prepares for its response to the monkeypox situation. A series of briefings and discussions have been undertaken with the public health and primary care team within the ministry and the secondary care health institutions. In the coming days, the Ministry of Health will be undertaking engagements with stakeholders within the health sector, both public and private, and also the tourism sector. Currently, all protocols are being reviewed and updated to assist with the management of the monkeypox virus. As the Ministry of Health continues to monitor the monkeypox situation, it is requested that anyone with a recent travel history to self-monitor for the onset of flu-like symptoms, fever, rash, headache, and muscle ache. If any of those symptoms are observed, it is necessary that the individual seeks medical attention immediately. The Ministry of Health will continue to provide the public with updates as soon as information is available.